All right, let's go. Yeah, Wind we... lace, magic stick, shadow shaman. Yes. Yeah. It's and a... yeah, so yep. lots of sticks, like I was mentioning. A lot of sticks coming out on the lanes. I'm seeing Vyashislav starts with a Blightstone, a little bit different. Seems like they're trying to get some extra damage for Tidehunter, as he is a pretty low armor hero that can maybe, maybe help out. Not too shabby. We'll see. Wolf scouting out the bottom lane. Zip Zapper will identify that. So, yep, they... That's obviously what it's going to be anyway and what he's going to skill, but now they do at least read the lanes, and they're going to go into the opposing jungle a little aggressively. A two-for-two two rune exchange looks like. Just for free. No battle. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, a little different to... I feel like nowadays we do see more sort of the five-man rush, yes. rush for a fight around the rune. Um, especially when you have like these, uh, like when, Gush or yeah, something exactly. like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, like lineup. Matchers. Yeah, if they, they, yeah, they'll kill someone with those five heroes. Gush, Thunder Maybe just scared of all like, the nuke. Metaphor Pro does have a little bit like nuke and control. Sanking makes stuff annoying. Yeah, yeah whatever. No actual five-man yeah. engagement. So let's see. Sanking, I, I'm, I'm going to be mostly watching bottom. I'll be honest because I feel like I've seen these other two lanes so many times. I've seen Bat versus Void Spirit like a hundred times. Wraith King versus Tide. If Tide had a stronger support, then I would look at top more. But it's Earthshaker Fissure blocking for him. So they shouldn't be able to like take advantage much up here at all. Tide's going to get pressured a bit, but he'll also get his farm. So bottom is bottom is the fun lane for me because I just I don't get to see Sanking much. And I think it has potential to... Hurt liking quite a bit. But yeah, this Don't should be a more. good. This should be a good lane down bottom right. That's, that's, that's what I feel like too. Disruptor's not bad though, because he is one of the best spammers to push heroes away. But uh, this doesn't look doesn't look too easy for Runic. I, I'm I'm curious to see how the sanking does. Oh, First yeah. wave, he gets all three. I mean, it must There's be three, something four. that they're very comfortable on as well, because this was their fifth pick, of course. The the sanking. That's right, so how they decided yeah. to end the draft. So it is. It, it can be nice versus the Lycan. You know, you've got that. <clears throat> you've got that AOE stun for the for the book and the summons and everything. When he does collapse, you'll hit all of them almost every time. Apply caustic, so it's got its potential. And you can build tanky. You can go for like your crimson guards and stuff like that if he looks to go for that versus the summons. We'll see how this this mid lane matchup goes. I mean, bat versus void. You I mean, you, you know, well, you sort of come used to, to seeing the Void be able to, to do fine here. You, you're never yeah. really going to die to the bat unless you, you do make a big mistake. Yeah, the bats maybe come out very slightly, like like literally like one or two last hits ahead. Yeah. But Void Spirits are perfectly fine with the matchup. They, they all seem to do really well. They all hold skill points, so it's like you can never dive either because they have the Aether Remnant under tower plays. So. Seeing top, the Fissure Block's coming out. Killabancer, he's trying to pull and connect the wave. If he can get this pull, that would be pretty sweet for him, but... Yeah, he's gonna get a range creep, but yeah, not... Will it actually walk over? Oh, no, it won't, actually, yeah. You're right, back in range of the melee. Melee of Dire, so it's not gonna be able to pull anything. So do we know who the... the Void Spirit player is now? I, 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 I guess he's times, Copy, right? you know? He's I, Copy. I don't, okay. think, I don't think he's the lad that was originally playing with Metaphor Pro. Um... I'm going to try to do re quick research for him right now. Let's see if I can find anything. Yeah, see if I, I anything on copy. So uh, definitely not a familiar name, but uh, who knows with these players, you know, they, they do go through the names and the accounts quite a bit. It's hard to keep up who's where and who's where. What was his other name? One Death? One Death. Yeah. Uh, uh, one slash Death ruin. slash Ruin, I believe. Okay. Is, uh, is his, uh, his current name on Dota 2. A uh, very po positive chat. <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. Bottom, Sanking is already starting to fall a little behind. He's got okay denies, though. And he has actually just gone for Sandstorm rather than going for Caustic. So just going to be playing the lane that way. I was hoping he'd go for the Caustic. I, I swear it has potential. Very tough to make it work, but... Feels like it's going to be a bit of a passive start, Owen. Yeah, we're not not, not getting much going on at all, mate. Hey, bottom. Hey, he, oh, nah, he's, oh. he's got the stick. He's going to be fine. He didn't bring a lot of regen, though. I saw initially he only had the one set of Tangles and Fairy Fire. He's actually just brought... He's just bringing a self. His teammate at least has one for him, but yeah, a bit low on the regen. Well, yeah, you'd like to see him sort of uh, be a bit more in the face of this Lycan and Disruptor and funneling more out. He can't because he didn't go for the Caustic. Like, you want to be able to okay. force the wave in, but somehow they're actually getting the wave forced under them most of the time here, which is not what you want to be seeing as a sinking. He wants to be pushing the lane in, not letting Lycan walk up to the creep wave as often. 
I don't mind Bracer because it gives you a little bit of innate regen, but he didn't have enough at the start. I think that hurt him a bit. Runes. Pretty sure he will check top. They'll get an arcane for Necroman. Uh, best rune. For, one of the best runes for Bat. And Uker, since he's left alone, they looked like they were trying to punish him, but he actually fun. just goes for an early chain mail. I lost he's it, playing yeah. versus the Blightstone. That's nice. Blocks all that physical damage. Uh, it's super hard for them to kill him. We'll have a bit yeah. of burst from Vyacheslav with the combo, but uh, never really quite enough to, to take him out. And okay, so the Sand King is not going to be able to pressure Runic at all. No, he's, so he's really that's, not. That's pretty big. And, and he's that's a, really big for Bridgeway. He's having to he's having to go for quite a few salves to, to sort of stick in the lane. I'm sure, he's still finding something down there, but yeah, de definitely maybe not maybe not achieving as much as they would have hoped to in that matchup when they went for the the final pick Sand King. I didn't see what picks they had. Ba Mars was already banned. Tide under was picked. So those are like the two best ones to play versus the uh, Lycans and versus the Wraith Kings. But they weren't able to get it. So yeah, Sand King S was their best solution. So they're going to be able to get at least two bounty runes here. Two for two. Yeah, it's just scary though. The Sand King feels like it, it can be a solution in lane, but you're, you're going to play into book three. So that's always a big concern for Zip Zapper because they're going to have the detection to run him down or... They're going to have the detection just kill him when he's sitting under lane trying to defend the towers. That's kind of what his job has to be still in this game as the offlaner. And it, and it feels like that there's so much sort of AoE that that's going to get thrown down on him. You know, if he, yeah. if he doesn't manage to fire like three arrows with a burrow strike, suddenly fissures, static storms, ravages. He, he's just caught on the front. And uh, unless he's had an incredible lane and, uh, and gets these fast items to, to be able to tank up, uh, he, he's just going to be sort of an easy kill on the front lines for, for Bajir yeah, Baj in these team fights. It could definitely be really difficult. It could be very difficult for Metaphor Pro once Brizui all groups up with that book and goes. They have to weather the storm somehow with their more farming greedy kind of lineup with this Wraith King. Catapult top will die immediately. Oh, nice glyph to at least protect it for a second longer. Zactyl will get the last hit though. So push averted up top, and we are seeing them forcing bottom now. So with that level two sandstorm, they're pushing it in a bit. But Runic, he's able to last it just fine with his wolves. He's slowing down a little. 26 last hits, but he's it's pretty decent anyway for a Lycan. And we see... I make a bit of an attempt onto Runic. Got the shackles, but the wolves are on to Keptas, and... Keptas uh, But you is just going to turn and be able to take down Keptas. TP over from Killamance. He's in with the Fisher. The dust is out. Zip Zapper trying to run. He's got the bar strike nice and deep. Has he? Has he got a TP? He has pops the mango, and uh, does does TP all the way back to base there. Copy's coming with the counter rotation. See if he can find it's a two. Actually, we'll jump in deep with the simile. Ends up underneath the tower. Takes oh. a few hits on the way out. He has got okay, okay. just enough with the one to step back out, but of course, time spent walking over to that bottom lane, and he also having to, to TP back to base to refuel. So a lot of time off the map there for the Void Spirit. Yeah, quite some quite some mistakes coming out. And we see Copy, he's gone for the just the straight farming build. Not even a single point in the Remnant. Just full out dissimilate, pushing lanes, 11 second cooldown to play around, Bat Rider stickies and all that. Very different. We usually see at least one point in the eighth the Remnant. Yeah. Just, it's, it's very tough for you to gank like this. You can't set up your own your own ganks at all. You need your help. Oh, bottom. Then. I mean, we're bottom. just done as to see the, the struggles here. The Sand King, he's trying to get a two fix. He's not going to be able to uh -oh. do so. Uh, and he'll be he'll be dead with his TP on cooldown. So, uh, Ooh, that is concerning. Think... Oh, no, okay, no. It's, 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 it's going to be back up when he respawns. Be but still, yeah. I, this is not how you want that last pick Sand King's life to go. Uh, as he's no, having a rough not. time down bottom. Uh, so... Mid. Copy. Oof. Oof. I th that was very... If he... If... If he had mana on Necroman, he actually used one extra stick. I think he just kills him with the lasso. It would have been very, close. Yeah, very aggressive. And uh, information, by the way, we did get. He played on. Uh, Copy did play on five comrades for ESL Meister. Oh god, I'm gonna mis I'm gonna miserably pronounce that. Is it a German word? My uh, Meister Meisterschaft. Yeah, I think that's right. That's how you'd say it. Okay, Me I don't know. Meister I don't know. Sometimes, yeah, dude, I don't know. Sometimes I just. No, that's good. Terrible. So I think that's pretty good German pronunciation. Okay, cool. And Runic, so book one's online, book two already on the horizon, and Zip Zapper's only level five tanking. Mid, they will be able to punish Necroman finally. But Runic, he's actually the one getting gone on. He pops his shapeshift. Can they get him this time? Oh! <laughs> nope. He's gonna be able to get out! 
And uh, keeping the walls on Kepsis. Kepsis, Kepsis go. has to TP back Can to base, but the glimpse! Oh no! As Runic, he's going to be able to get... Well, he's not actually going to get the last hit on the two of them. At two fixes, it's a double kill for the Disruptor. Uh, but still, this, this bottom lane getting very messy for Meta 4 Pro now. Okay, now we look back and we see... Sanking, what level does he have of his Sandstorm? Okay, level 3 Sandstorm. Does he have stacks? No, he does not. Okay, That's so rough. he does not have a great place to catch up on. That's rough. So Zip Zapper has to just go back bottom. And if he dies, he dies. He has to play like this. So it's very scary right now for the Sanking. And I think they're going to have to start making rotations with Void Spirit with the Sanking to punish. They have to do it together, not one by one. So he is going to TP down on copy. And now he does have a point in that Aether Remnant. And they will have... Zactyl is still farming well, is the one good thing too for them. They uh, do they have, have this backing range. up to the jungle. Yeah. He'll get his good, like, 16, 17 minute radiance if he's not pressured, maybe even earlier than that. Oker starting to take advantage of that fact, and he's just going to pressure town. He is going to go for that blink rush that they were mentioning. I think just because he's so ahead, I'm okay with it. I, I thought he would just go for, like, his normal items, but the fact that they're just dominating the lanes like this, I think he can actually play like this. And rather than just stand at the front, he can blink past the front and just kill everybody. Yeah, he's, he's going to have a, a brilliant timing on it. Now, these towers, the, these won't be Bottom. defended. As uh, diving in onto a two fix. Oh, they'll get him. So the pressure comes in for the three of them. Runic, of course, already out of there and just focusing on getting that Necro book leveled up as quickly as possible. And he's yeah, going to hit good timings on it. And Zip Zapper has shown that he's not going to. He's His lane hasn't gone well enough to him actually to be a tank. So he has to be just a straight up initiator as the sinking. Going up for the blink. He can't actually just stand face to face versus like in Tide. It's, like you said, too many spells that are going to be coming out. He has to play more of just the jumper. Yeah, and he has. He's, he's got at least the follow up of the Void Spirit. Yeah. So you got two arrows that are able to make the, the jump in. Ooh. As oh! Well. He actually commits both Astros to kill the books. Oh, he's going to. Vyacheslav does have False Promise if necessary. The Ravage, though. Oh, it's a perfect Ravage. It catches them all, makes sure that there's no chance of a False Promise as they take down the three of them. Br brilliant stuff there from Uka. Nice moves from Berjoui, setting up, bringing all their heroes down bottom, and I mean, Copy just, he asked, double astral stepped and used everything to kill off the book and the wolves and just dies because he has nothing to get away. And it's a little bit over aggressive there by Metaphor Pro. They even need yeah. all the wards. That is pretty rough. Ooh. It was, you know, I was a deny any of them. I don't believe he did get many of those denies, no. I'm going to come straight back out with the smoke. They know there's no Ravage now. So they maybe... Do. No Lasso, no Ravage. There is a Disruptor ult and an Echo Slam. Now. And in they go. Fully jumping in. Onto the bat. They're going to be able to get him. Exactly what they needed to do here. Metaphor Pro. Just keep it quick. When they know that these cooldowns aren't... Uh, you know, the, the, the ults aren't there. Yep. That's, that, that is one of the bigger things we look at for Bourjois Draft. Is it's super cooldown reliant. Everyone's ults, they don't have great ways to kill heroes unless they commit an ultimate. You know, disruptive glimpse and all that can put people out of position, but yeah, their damage is really their damage and control is coming out from those ults. Well, metaphor pro, they can make quick moves around the map. Sanking is always sanking always allows you to do that. Just how good Bur Burrow Strike can be. And he actually is gonna have an pretty okay timing on the blink for how atrocious his lane did go. Now we'll see. See how active they're able to be once that's up. And how ready okay, he's gonna be ready for turning it. And Uker also switched his build, so he's actually he be, gonna be going for the pipe. I mean, I, I, I guess this is cool because I mean, obviously, pipes a great item this game, um, and maybe because he does see the the bat, the sorry, the sand king not buying anything, he knows the sand king's gonna be going for that initiation, uh, likely building up for the blink dagger, and he knows the fight's gonna come to him. I mean, we already saw him hit a great ravage uh, with it without the blink. So, oh, kill up. Oh. I think you get more nice from this. I mean, this, this is smoke as well from Bajui. They've got the book three, and they see the Wraith. Yeah. They could kill him twice, or even just, just you know, burn him. once with the reincarnation. Just burn him, yeah. His team is near him, though. Pipe is very valuable this game, though. Yeah. The tight Versus, you just look at the enemy lineup, and it has a million different merits. Yeah, of course, especially uh, knowing that, that that Radiance will come out relatively soon on Zactyl. Zactyl. It's walking uh, up. There's Runic. There's oh. a bot. Oh. Oh. What happens? He doesn't need it. Okay, I mean, he's actually. Oh, you know, he got stopped. Keptus, he did catch him in the back. There. All right. I mean, Keptus, are they going to pop a Ravage for him? Oh, they don't need to. They got the last up. 
So they will they'll get kept us, but yeah, I mean, I guess he he, he did he. Well, I, I don't know if the Red King would have died anyway, uh, even if the back got in, because there was the backup of Yatras Love with a false promise. Well, actually, yeah, no, there wasn't but, actually. Is it still on Cordon? He's just short of mana. No. He just used the false promise. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, Oops. copy, copy. Oh, they're dropping everything. Slam, static storm. It's not enough though. Is it? Is it oh, the walls. The walls are gonna get him. Ravage out from Uka. They're going to be able to get the two. They'll catch Vyacheslav as well. Oh, no. They're just clicking the buttons. They're actually... They're, I was a little worried they wouldn't be able to just walk in and get them off in this game. But so far, these first 14 minutes, they're getting these Ravages off. They're they connecting. Are. Metaphor Pro is kind of walking into it. Break King's still farming really well. But yeah, this is all starting to combine Connect and Brzui with these two towers. The next book summon, they could look to start threatening that Roshan. With Gush, with the Howl. They have a decent amount of minus armor and they have Definitely good team fight around it. Maybe want to wait until their ults are closer to being up before they just straight force it, but pretty soon I think that's the next next thing you want to tick off the list. Booker. Really wants that bounty rune, but won't be able to get it. The question is, can they kill him? Tanky. He is very tanky. Uh, they're going to try. A quick glimpse to, to break the shackle. They're, they're really going for him. They're actually still going. I, d I don't know if they kill him. I, I, don't, I don't think they can. I don't know if they do either. No, I hope he's still going. Though. He's still going. They do get the burrow strike follow up onto the two of them. And they'll get at least kill him out, sir. But uh, Uka is, he's still fine. He's walking away. Okay, 3k gold advantage off of these moves. Aggressive wards placed on as well from earlier from the invasion. So Runic can play a bit aggressive here too, standing near that Wraith King. The good stuff so far from Bourgeois. They got to keep up that pressure, though. We know that the Wraith King is going to get that Radiance really soon. And it is good versus Lycan. Radiance versus all those summons is going to be annoying. Sure, they have the pipe to counteract it a little bit to protect the summons, but that miss rate will be annoying. So, yeah, Bourgeois, I think definitely the next thing on the docket. Try to get set up for that rush since you do still have a good aggressive ward. You can kill it extremely fast. Zach talk. I'll see what, see what he gets after the, after the Radiance. I mean, is it going to be Usually sort of Radiance blink. into Blink still? You, you don't feel it's going to be pressured to maybe to get like the BKB because of because of this Necro yeah. book. I think there's there's options for both depending yeah. on how he wants to play around them. His bottom. Well, kept the goes out, but Keptus is confident. He's dropping the wards. Gonna have the yeah, Necroman come in and, and start fire flying into the last. He's got in. one. Is he going to be able to get both of them? Ooh, it's close. Copies out. But the ult's coming in from Runic. He's ready to start chasing them down. He's on to Zip Zapper. Can the rest of Bergeri find Copy in the trees? That's the question. Is Copy? He's out and away. I will find Vyasha's love, though. He's got the Ghost Scepter. Saving him for now, but they're in. With the Gush. An A-Bomb. He's making the work for it. He's going to put the False Promise as well here. He's got 21, so he's made Survivor for... Now nah, he's dead. He got Glimpse back. It's gonna be close. They, he's alive. Okay. Yeah, they, they don't try and commit on him any further than just putting the summons on him. Uh, so he, the tower he's is able to walk away. Also, yeah, and that's the book summoned to not hit the tower at all. Literally zero damage actually got put onto that tower. So that aggressive move by Metaphor Pro isn't punished by Brzui that much, except for just the kill. Copy. Too bad. He's, he's got his agonims. It's complete. A little low on that's the mana. That's gonna be really nice. They have new neutral items coming up, I believe, yeah. now too, so they can pick those up. And he actually has a Grove Bow. So now he can he can actually clear the summons of the Lycan pretty decently. He can control the Tide Under during the Ravages. He has a lot of different plays he can do. However, at the same time, we do see Killamaster. He has his Blink finished in a second on the Earthshaker. So another element that Metaphor Pro also has to watch out for is they keep just getting sandwiched on. All these ults are a bit too much for them to deal with. And we are seeing... Well, Zactyl, he's got the blink queued up. Now he's switched to the BKB. Yeah, kind of figured it had to be one of the two. For sure, yeah. I, 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 you know, obviously, as you're saying, in sort of a, a good game, you want to get the blink first. But the, this kind of game, the, the pressure is definitely building up from Bajou. And yeah, he's got to make sure that he can turn up and, and just doesn't die. Yeah, and does yeah. have the chance of reincarnating.
think they should I think they should still press forward on the side of Bergeway. They're doing a great job. They still have a good 4K lead, 7K experience advantage. I want to see them kill and get into a Roshan when they see an, uh, an opportunity, like pretty soon. I don't want to see Metaphor Pro get too many more opportunities to sit back, farm, get Zactyl ready to fight. Because if Zactyl's ready to fight and then they go for Rosh, it's going to be a lot more difficult. The ward is going to start going down. The ward actually does spot Metaphor Pro smoking themselves. So Tide Earner, he's oh, gonna copy. connect his team. Copy. Instantly with a fish up into the last. Oh, they got enough lockdown. Got the the false promise will come out, but the static storm will trap the two of them. They'll drop the echo as Zactyl getting low. Copy. Is he going to be able to live? He is. That false promise enough to save him. A two fix will fall, but Uka comes through with the ravage, catches the three of them, and now they look for a second round onto Zactyl. He's trying to TP out. He's not going to make too it much. away though. So much damage from Runic and his summons. Now turns towards Copy. Copy. Does still have a step available in the ult. Comes to an end on Runic, so they won't chase further. Where was Zip Zapper? Did he get glimpsed away in the fight or something like that? I feel like the Sanking was there and not after. I mean, he's second. coming back over now. He might have the cleanup still. He's in. He's going to get the epicenter going. Runic's trying to they TP out. Is he away? He's not. They've got the damage. They take him down. As now, Uka is tanky. Do they want to try oh, and commit to crap. kill him? They're, they're, they're going to let him go. They're, they're not going to waste any more resources on trying to take down so that they just might not be able to do so. Let's see this replay again. As soon as Copy was spotted, instant reactions. But Metaphor Pro at least able to find something in return. And that cleanup at the end, getting Runic. Uh, very and nice yeah, for this squad. Okay, Zip Zapper TP'd in, and he got glimpsed completely out of the fight. I was wondering where the Sanking was during all of this fight. So he actually gets glimpsed away, and a great setup for Zui invades. Runic does die at the end, though, which makes it a little bit better for Metaphor Pro. Still a win from Bergui. Yeah. yeah, for sure. 16 to 9 and 6k lead right now for Bergui. So far, so good. Necroman, top of this net worth, continuing to lead to an arcane rune, BKB, all this. Ready to go. Looking good on this bat. And the Sanking still struggling. You know, Zip Snapper 0 4 and 4. This last pick, Sanking, has not had the impact that he wanted to. Not yet, at least. And kill him answer. Nice. Not going to get the chance here. It's kept Tass. It's out of the lane and back up inbound. Bajui. Two man smoke on Runic. Ravage still on cooldown. Metaphor Pro may be trying to take advantage of the fact that that is still down. But the lanes are all being shoved in. The book is summoned, pushing out mid. Tidehunter is already pushed out top. And his team is smoking to go reach and meet that Tidehunter. Book does end, but they can just coast through, check out for wards. The Necro Book will be able to take out one. Dyer's top tower is under and now Ravage is going to be back online pretty much. Yeah, they got it all. Pro, the fight is not easy. <laughs> Many ults. Oh. They're going to look for a pickoff, but uh oh. Zip Zapper. Uh oh. He tries to get in on this. Uh, but he, he's in a whole world of trouble here. He's, he's just dead. Misses the Barrow Strike. Is he dragged back? The Static Storm's down onto Vyacheslov. And now Runo's going to try and chase, see if they can catch anything more out of this. Where's the glimpse? On to Zaxalt. And it's going to try and turn. Is there any help that they can come in? Ravage is out. On to the Wraith King they go, starting to burn him down with the Firefly. He's going to go down the once. Keptas over to the side, attempting to hold back the disruption with the Shackles, but he'll fall. There's only the two of them up, and there's the further control that they needed. Glimpse back. Nice glimpse. Zactyl caught in the kinetic field. A Zactyl will fall. Jump forward from Killamancer. They're going to be able to drop the slam and keep Copy locked down. And they pretty much take them all there, Bajui. Getting out of control here. They keep getting all these beautiful team fights where even in this one too, they have just have a they have a number advantage because Zip Zapper dies in the beginning in the mid lane. They feel confident to run up all their ults are back up. For Brazui, whenever they have their ults, the fights are really hard for Metaphor Pro, and they're just they're delivering in this game. I was a little hesitant because they've had so many rough games in a row, but they're delivering with with their R buttons really yeah. nicely yeah. versus Metaphor Pro. I'm doing very well, Aaron. Yeah. Zip Zapper, he, he can't afford to to, no. to mess up those initiations, especially when he's trying to go for the bat. You know, the hero that's going to have no trouble tearing you very far away from your allies. If you do, and things are don't get a hit. Very out of control now, too. Like Runic now is an AC. Like, these these heroes on Metaphor Pro are already squishy. Now they all have just they're going to be all negative armor, and they haven't actually itemized for any armor really on any of them. Yeah, they, they're going to they die so quickly. How fast it's been. 
Yeah. And during these these ravages, vicious slams. What, full octarine on the bat, 24 full minutes octarine. in. Full octarine. Okay. Pretty quick. Not bad. Yeah, snowballing and it, it's a deal here. faster. I mean, not normally bought this early in the build, I guess, but even so, that much faster. Okay, no, it's not. Never mind. We just got debated. You just said it was faster. All right. It's slow, apparently, according to the stats. No, it is. Oh, it's the average. I can't read. Thank you. Thank you, uh, JJ. <laughs> Faster than the average, but uh, my goodness, I wonder what game there was a 19 minute Octarine. That must have been quite the beatdown. What the? Yeah, was that first what item the hell happened in that what game? What happened in that game? <laughs> 19 minute Octarine bag. Well, still, the 24 minute, it's not a 19 minute one, but still very good timing from from, from, from Necroman. And now into Roast, they're going to be able to get this. And he takes the ages. Look he does. At that. I mean, he's, like, he knows he's the, the he's the richest right now. He's like, I'm level 20. What yeah. level are you liking? 16? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. As we see Metaphor Pro trying to set up some split push. The battle is heading their way, though. Copy. Oh. Gotta be careful. Get away from this bat. He's on the hunt. They're gonna pop the other one to chase. Yeah, I just love. Yeah. You're not gonna make it away, my friend. They're able to grab him. Now, is that what we want? Ideally, they want more of this with the ults popped. They, they can get vision of Copy and maybe get a. Set up here with oh, Earthshaker. Fisher. Take, goodbye. Oh. Oh no, he's able Kept to get away. But Keptas, he's given his life. He gives his life. Oh, what a guy. What a but bro. Copy step back forward. Oh no. And now he's he's glimpsed. He's up to oh, the high ground. Astral. And he will live. They don't have anything further to, to lock him down. So he gets away. But Keptas having to, to give his life for it. 23 to 9. 13k lead. Continue to fall further and further behind here. Metaphor Pro. They need a lot of time before they have any hopes in this game. Saying, uh, Rave King needs his next two items. Yeah. He needs the BKB. He needs the full AC in order for them to have any hopes of fighting. As Sang King and Void Spirit, they've they've really fallen off. Copy with a couple of deaths and Zip Snapper with a lot of deaths, just unable to really set up anything. And I think it, it, it's really about like the snowball factor for Sang King. If he does well in lane, you could see a totally different game where he's tankier. But the fact that the lane went so poorly, he's so squishy. All he is is really a blink and one stun and hope to get a reset. But reset's pretty impossible, as we see from all the ultis that Berjui have. Just able to perfectly connect every time. And look at the way that they're surrounding with this vision. Poor Keptus. He's trying to even sneak out for the like, oh, new no. wave. Oh, no. He gets the blink off, but they've got the glimpse. Oof. I mean, they, they, they could start going for the high ground here, Berjui. Definitely should. DDAC. Keep on pushing. This is their timing. Uh, super strong right now uh, with this lineup. Blink on bat as well. Let's see what Metaphor Pro could do to stop this. It's not going to be has easy. BKB, but he had, does not have the damage anymore to deal with them. Uh, Uka just doesn't care. He just nope. he just sits it. They can do nothing. So that's a full set of racks and nothing achieved here by Metaphor Pro to just to try and put a stop to it. They, they know they can't. I've not got, they've just not got anything really to, to fight back with against Bajui at this stage of the game. And the items are just coming out way too yeah. fast. As you said, Necroman, Blink Dagger, Lotus Orb, Tidehunter, they're covering all their bases just in case of anything. So now Sanking, you know, versus this Lotus Orb, your game gets infinitely harder. Yachis Love, he's actually smoked on the outside. Necroman has the Aegis. No, he, he does not mind them doing this. He does not. He's more than uh -oh. happy for them to go on him, and uh, it's going to end in the quick death for both supports. Keptas and Vyachis Love gone. And into the base, they've grabbed Zip Zapper. He's into the last one. They even dropped the oh slab my. on him. Damn. That wasn't very <laughs> oh. Nice. oh, yeah. They just <laughs> Why not? A lot of buybacks. A3 buybacks. Copy. He's in the back line. He is. And he's away. It's he do anything, though? They're trying to fight Uka. I don't know if they can fight Uka. I think he can just stand there between all five of them. He doesn't care. He has a few more one charges. He's going to have a Ravage as well. There's the Lotus. Reflects almost all of their spells. I mean, There's the Epi. A decent Epi. Have they got enough damage? They're jumping in. Copy. He's trying to get the kill. They've got the Shackles onto Runic. Can they finish off this Lycan? Ravage is out. But Zaktor with the BKB will be able to commit and take down really. the Lycan. Now they'll turn over towards the Tide. 
Uka. He's going to get another smash off. Surely they get him here. I mean, he's able to get the Lotus off, though. So he's reflecting is the he? stuns. He's still alive. If he gets one more anchor smash off, he's going to be fine for a little longer. But he oh does my God. finally go down as they will manage to kill Uka. And they the get Runic. So, so two big kills does cost them three buybacks. It was a it very, very expensive fight there for, for Metaphor Pro. Who gets all the kills, though? It was... Zactyl did not get any of them. Oh, man, he only got the Courier. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Oh, he buys whatever he can. What? To be a bit stronger. Wait, what? The mask. Did I see that right? I think he's I think he misclicked. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was, was like, gonna say it got sold. I was like, hang on. Mask of Madness. I mean, anything to speed up the farm. <laughs> but uh, no, that that was instantly sold. So he's he's not he's not trying the Mask of Madness breaking build. He gets some time to be able to try to farm this AC, which yeah. will help. But he still needs a little bit more. AC and Bashir would be the most ideal versus that Lycan if he's able to get it. But we're going to see them still continue to just collapse. Brzui not going to give them more breathing room. First fight, Metaphor Pro can actually punch back and kill some heroes. I got Blink on Disruptor now as well, so. Oh, even, wow. More even easier for him to, to find these catches or two fix. Yeah. Almost the Shiva's at least finished on the Void Spirit on Copy. So it's a little bit of that healing. We see that Vlad's being a bit of a problem for them to deal with with Uker and also just that Lycan. That'll be nice. A little bit less attack speed too. Any little thing that they can get in this game is really needed right now. Is It's really feeling like Zactyl versus the world for the most part. Oh. And oh. He's in the grab. There. He's got the lasso to start things off into the Fisher. False promise from Vyacheslav. Keeps copy fine for now. They're running in with the ult. They're looking for Keptas. Zip Zapper trying to get him with the epicenter. He's over onto our two fix. Jump forward from copy. They're trying to burst the disruptor, but our two fix. He's still alive. Finally, the step will finish him off, but they've lost but two on Metaphor Pro. They'll lose the Wraith King once. They're going to be ready for round two here. Though Bajui is, he may have the BKB, but he doesn't have the damage. He's got to try and run. Wait, he's not TPing. I thought he would TP out for sure. Yeah, they, to stay they, they don't have anything to go through the the, the BKB. I mean, either way, he's, it looks like he's going to be able to walk to, to safety. Okay. Uh, Zaxxel will manage to get away from them. But Shui's going to turn their attentions over towards Vyacha's Love instead. And with the jump forward from Killamancer, they'll uh, slowly but surely get the kill. Losing three again. Zip Zapper dead for quite a long time. Same thing for Vyacha's Love now. As Tidehunter walks up, they've still they've got pretty much the still whole got the Ravage. <laughs> Yeah. He's got that ready Echo for this. As well. The siege is... And look, Lasso's up in one second, too. Oh, and he's in. Right away. Immediately in, trying to drag Zactyl as far away as he can from his base. So they get them the ones. He's also going to be able to have the flame break set up on a Keptus. Ravage comes out, catching Zactyl the second time. As Zactyl will fall. Copy's trying to get in on the back lines, but he cannot kill any of them. They're too tanky right now. They'll call it. It's over. And it has been for a little bit, this one, as Bajui... Uh, I mean, they, they, they did exactly what their lineup was capable of doing. They they really walked over Metal 4 Pro and.